Hi hey guys, it's Omer from MMOs.com and a quick uh, first impressions gameplay video for Talisman Online, an older 3D fantasy MRPG developed and published by a company called Mira Games. I spent about 10 to 15 minutes running around checking this game out, make some comments. If you guys want to play uh, Talisman Online or just learn more about it, do check the full review on MMOs.com on the link below. You can play a Tigerfish, All Stars, Giant Sky. Let's go with uh, Blood Oath, that sounds pretty hardcore. Actually, let's go with All Stars, there's more players online here. So the game was released back in 2007, it's, wow, very colorful characters, we got some, uh, wow, a lot of color, a lot, a lot of, big, big weapon on this guy, look at this guy's a maul, what is this, let's go with this guy, he's ginormous, he's bald, he doesn't mess around, he's got the singed hair, he's a Krillin wannabe, look at he's got dots on his head too, he wishes he was Krillin from Dragon Ball Z, so we can check her out actually, oh, alright, so are these my classes or just my, uh, my playable characters, it was created by the immortal nun, y Yutan, who only wants a uh, female apprentices? Apprentices? Apprentices. All right. Apprentices is like the cool way to say apprentices. You just get rid of the A. Uh, although most of the officers are non apprentices, they don't. It's, it might actually be a real word. I might be retarded. Who knows? Uh, new apprentices again cultivate themselves with hair. What does this even mean? This is like this is the worst translations ever. Tamer Gong Yi Hong is good at animals language. Guys, he's good at a animal language, you know, and can talk with every kind of animals. He overheard the sound from the white parrot and get a tau book, obviously. He was enlightened and created profession tamer after many years enhancement. This is... They didn't even finish the sentence. The guy who was translating this is like literally, tamer increases T. Like as he was tapping, you know, you know what, you know what, I'm done. He just left. Like mid-translation, just gave up. So we got assassin. So yeah, here are your playable classes. We got wizard. You can play as a male or female wizard. Wizard's founder, master long eyebrow. Man, that guy's got probably a really long eyebrow who has been enlightened at the beginning of Song Dynasty. So there are some Chinese uh, history in here with the Song Dynasty. And the ringleader of every low-level immortals, both in just and evil juntas. All right, we're, we're gonna skip this stuff. I'm gonna play as a, uh, we can play as, let's play a wizard, female wizard, why not? All right, we can ch we'll check her out. And let's click agree. Not next, agree, we agree. My name is gonna be Raymo Tex. And let's click agree, here we go, all right. Uh, apparently no customization options. You just pick one and you are good to go. I like what I see over here though. We got like a, a little bit of side move going on. And let's enter this game. Surprisingly, the game does have like those five servers we saw earlier, which is not bad for an older game. So I'm a wizard, but I got, uh, I got some swords floating around behind me. All right, we can zoom in on the good stuff. Can't zoom the camera where I want to, unfortunately, to see more good stuff, but this is all we got. I'm like, Aurelia, I got floating blades. All right, we move via point and click. Probably the worst run animations I've seen in my life. It's like stuttery and laggy while you're moving. Oh my god, that is just awful. All right, let's talk to Talisman Fairy. Why not? You're not even cool enough to have a name. Master your skills and try your best in this wonderful world. Man, this NPC is excited. Kill little wild boar one. All right, I'm gonna kill little wild boar. It's kind of like a little bear, but nope, little wild boar. So we get two lucky egg. This game's got the worst translations. It's they're, they're up there amongst the worst. That's easy. Good luck. All right, I got my quest. We click on it, and of course, we run towards it. Awesome. So it's one of those games that, well, well I don't think it plays itself. It makes getting from point A to point B very easy. So different zones are, whoa, whoa, what is good? We are just running off of the world, guys. This is getting hardcore. We're on Rainbow Road right here. So that's interesting. So like, I just ran down from like heaven over there. So now we're we're over here. Got to kill uh, one boar. Like that's, that, that's seriously the quest, one boar. I actually have a lot of abilities over here, skills. Check, where's my character going? I just saw a boar over here. I should kill one of these guys. I'm gonna try using, we have Fire Strike, Fire Barb, and these normal attacks. This is my distance, uh, let's go with the long range one. They're both long range. So enter battle, let's see how easy this guy is. All right, we're casting, we're casting. What well, bam, 30 deeps. Uh, does that, is that AOE or not? Bam, we did the quest already, easy quest. So we're going all the way back. Nope, we're going forward this time. Nope, uh, we just did like a quick U-turn over there. What was that? Where are we going? Is it really gonna be running me all the way back to the guy who gave me that quest? Yes, it is. So I like how the like the pathing of the game like took me the other direction, and turned back around. So my talismans, I, I suspect talismans play a big role in the game. When I think of talisman, I think of uh, Jackie Chan Adventures. Was, there was a talisman in that. There's the warehouse man. You need, you need to go to the warehouse? You talk to the warehouse man. He knows what's up. Music is very cheerful in the background. And for a server that had like some players on it. Look at, did you see that pathing again? I walked past it and then turned back around. Alright, I just talk to you again. Right click me. 
birth gifts are all right. I got some attack boosts uh, for 24 hours. Nice. All right, we're gonna go towards. Uh, where's the next quest? Let's talk to this this thing. Buddha's Buddha's slave. Wow, Buddha Buddha had a slave. We got some. Are these players? I doubt it. Nope. NPCs. Greedy Buddha slave. What do you got for me? Be greedy Buddha slave. Welcome to the green scarp. Accept this. I'm not gonna read all that. When I'm having an excellent wine and delicious food, the Buddha is always in my heart. The most important thing is my intention. Of course, I couldn't have said it better myself. So now, wild boar knuckle. Really? You gotta kill more boars? This game, this game's developers really didn't like boars. So we're gonna literally run back down Rainbow Road and you're gonna kill some more boars. So that's very poorly designed questing already. You usually wanna keep questing so like, it's not as, again, get one of them. Like my last quest was to kill one as well. It's very poorly designed. I want to get like all the quests and then kill them that way. And it should be a little more challenging too. Enhancing my talisman. Only energy can be used to enhance talisman. Energy can be accumulated through killing monsters and finishing quests. Uh, where's my talisman level? I'm level 2 right now. Got an event calendar in the game. Close these out. And for a game released in 2007, the visuals are not that great. Close that out. You are equipped talisman black luster sword. It can provide skills. Press the S key. Alright, this is my talisman right now. So it gives me maximum enhancing level 10, hit 5, damage 8 to 9. So is my talisman just my weapon? Uh, it might be. So I have no spouse. There's just a no dot dot dot. Unfortunate. So you can PK people in the game too. My stats. Do I get like stat points? It looks like I don't. To like put points in there. Nope, gotta be level 10 for that one. And let's close these out. And let's kill more little wild boars. Why not? We're in the game. Let's go kill some boars. Not sure why it feels a little bit choppy either. It's just kind of odd. Alright, we one shot this thing. Did we get our, our boar knuckle? No, we got looted this time. Oh man, there we go. Wild boar knuckles. It's gonna run me all the way back. You know it, guys. Let's look how it runs too. This jaggedy, laggedy nonsense. So, I click. Again, it runs you up this hill and then turns you back around. So, you gotta get almost like a. I was saying Diablo style. Every time I see these grids in my inventory, it reminds me of Diablo. Because it had that too. So, I got some gems. Uh, use it to identify a green item. Uh, so, yeah, these are like. Identification scrolls, and I got more of these too. So you can use all these to identify uh, some rare weapons you find if you find any. Teleport stones as well. It's a, it's a hearthstone basically, and these are my potions. Uh, two lucky egg. All right, let's go ahead and use this. Bam! Opened the egg and got more uh, more pills. Don't take pills from an egg. That's kind of risque. Of course, it takes me back and forth again. So right away, uh, the game is old. Uh, I can't imagine new players will jump into this and actually enjoy it. There's really not much to. <laughs> Not much to like. It's a very it's one. First of all, it's point and click, which is a pretty huge minus. Game should have either both point and click or WSD controls, because point and click just feels old school. Old school. So we got another quest from a uh, Buddhist novice Shan. What up, bro? There have come many new brothers here recently, and I have many more things to do. I am filled with inspiration to help them. That's probably the best translated text in this game so far. There is a pool at the back of the at the back mountain. Man, it's gonna be an awesome pool. Let's go check it out. Uh, let's click accept. And the apes are long living in the mountain, and they are vigorous and smart. The apes are smart. Oh man, guys, we gotta kill two apes this time. An actual player. Let's go say hi to him. FSFD151. He's not trying very hard with his, with his name. Present man. Does he have presents for me? I want presents. Let's go talk to him. What do you got for me? Yes. Oh, I. You got to have the code to get the present. It's obviously one two three seven. Here's the present. Here we go. Here we go. Give me that presence. Give me all the presents. Oh, No presents for me. All right, we're going back to kill some apes. What you got the interface while we wait, too? So the game is a stall system. I, I hate when games do this. Uh, more NPCs, NPCs running around making it look like people actually play this game when they actually don't. Yep, these aren't real players. These are NPCs. Stalls are basically... Uh, it's like if you want to sell stuff, you open up your stall and you put for sale there. Very lousy system if you ask me because auction houses just work better. A lot of games do use that though. Apprenticeship. Uh, apprenticeship. Uh, I guess these are like master tutor style systems. But don't worry, nobody's even trying to. Nobody's even on here. So, I've I've seen one player and he's AFK. He even replied to my my hey. What a jerk. Man, you are. Uh, Ish Chanel is a level eighty five fairy. You are you are the top of the ladder leaderboards in uh in Talisman Online. You are you are a baller. And there's this guy's online, so we got we got three of the top uh, three of the top bajillion. Oh no, there's more players online over here. I'm guessing this means they're online. Actually, right, so kill these apes. 
These, these apes got sick bracers. Where'd they get those bracers? Let's kill this thing too. Already level 3 too. Easy. Is this, is this instacast? Uh, it might be. Pretty OP. Can we just melee this guy too? Uh, right click does this. So I don't have a melee. I just kind of like throw my swords at them. And it's weird because there's no auto attack either. You just kind of, uh, you do click on it every single time. And like, it kind of casts. It's a bit odd. Alright, uh, there you go. These apes do three damage. Easy. This guy's dead. Let's go loot these apes. I'm not going all the way back over there. Seriously, these quests have to be way better designed. They have you like running back and forth so much. Enhanced talisman. We're gonna enhance our talisman, alright guys? We're, we're ready to experience the full features of talisman online. Uh, energy 8, 9. I have a lot of energy. Let's enhance this stuff. Let's go! Oh man, look at this sick enhancing. Here we go. Charging up my... Ooh. Can we, can we, no, I can't turn the camera further down. This game, this game would get a lot better score if I can do that. So my talisman's going up to 108, and afterwards, I guess, it's going to get upgraded. So it looks like the, the key features in uh, Talisman Online, you can upgrade your weapons. I guess upgrading your talisman is a pretty big feature. Most games, you kind of switch between weapons pretty often until late game. So, uh, level 2. I mean, I'm probably going to change talismans later on, too, but... It's kind of cool that you have, like, a regular XP meter and your energy meter, and you can use energy to upgrade gear like that. In a lot of games, you kind of have to upgrade your gear via, like, um, a ch they, like, enchantment scrolls and stuff, and they have a chance to break. This system is better, because it kind of, like, it's like an extra way of progressing. It's neat. Alright, it does take a little, a little while, though. I wish you can just, like, put all of it at once, because uh, this system is kind of stupid with, in that regard. Like, why can't I just put all my energy there at once? Let's go loot these apes. 13 copper pieces. Awesome. Is the currency in this game really called copper? Or is it like you need so much copper to make a, like a gold piece or something? It might be one of those. Let's find out. Yep, you need a... So copper makes this, makes that. So copper, silver, and gold. Uh, we're done with these apes anyway. Let's go back to Buddhist, a Buddhist novice Shan. I can't read sometimes. Reading is hard. You can go enjoy my character's jaggedy movements while you run back. Don't you love when games do this too? Like, look at this separation on the ground. This is so well blended right here. A+. Plus for Again, for a 2007 game, very disappointing. Chinese developed as well, so you know the quality is uh, not so high. People make fun of Perfect World a lot, but I think uh, of the Chinese game developers we've seen in the U.S., they're probably one of the better better companies. I mean, you can argue some of the games are more pay to win than others, but uh, at least they make some decent quality games. And Cryptic obviously makes awesome games because they made Everwinter, but they're, not, they're a U.S. studio, not a Chinese one. Owned by a Chinese studio though. So expanded bags two and three, of course, these are available for purchase probably, not... Can you put something here? Nope. Cost money. You know what, we can do teleport stone too, let's go back to base this way. At this rate, I might as well walk back to base, this takes just as long. Sweet fruit. Yeah, that, that fruit is so sweet. Mana potions. Two lucky yeah, I guess that's talisman online. So, I guess it's like a chest you open to get gifts, every few levels. Alright, we're back over here. I'm gonna go talk to my... my boy. My Buddhist novice Shan. Here we go. We're going to take direct route this time. Direct route. Direct route. Oh, man. A-plus pathing this time. There have, there have come many new brothers here. We've already been with this one. We, we already read that one before. Uh, novice Shan looked at you with amusement and then said, Remote AX, thanks a lot. You are much capable. You are much capable than I've thought. I'm sure you can finish the following task excellently. Is that a word, excellently? I don't think it is. I'm not so sure. Grab this. Send the medicine. The medicine is completed. Like, the story is just awful. Like, you think, like, I skip most of the quests in most games, but God, it's awful over here. The translations are just abysmal. For a game released in 2007, like, you think by now, like, if every day they translated one sentence, like, they'd be, they'd be, like, completely done by now. It's like a Trent dude. The Namu guards. Man, what a quest. I talk from the NPC and bring it over here. That's a tough quest right there. Hardest quest of my life. So the music just stopped playing abruptly. And, ooh, blood idol on. Gotta kill four of them. Man, we had to kill two things once, one thing twice, and now uh, I gotta kill four. And music is back on loop. Do I get more skills? I wanna see my skill menu. Attribute. There we go. Skills over here. I guess, yeah, you can see what you can unlock these uh, later on. Level 25. So a lot more stuff gets unlocked at level 10. Super skills. They're kinda like skills, but they're, they're super. Living skills, I guess, like crafting skills, maybe? And we can't even see them right now. So yeah, well, living skills are probably like trade skills. And you can learn two at once, I guess. And if you want to change them, you can forget them. But yeah, guys, I, I cannot imagine too many players are on uh, Talisman Online. 
It said there were pillars on the line, but I'm, I'm a little iffy on it because, uh, is anybody even talking? Yeah, yeah, we got, we got some world chat going on over there, guys. Let's go say hi to our world chat friends. Sup, guys. And does it not let me chat with them? Nope. It's not even working. Can't even chat there. Maybe I'll be higher level first. It makes sense because if they, if they limit your world chat like capabilities, it can prevent spamming. Oh man, we just went into the underworld over here. More NPCs running around. Awesome. The gear looks kind of cool though when you level, level it up. But honestly, no reason to play Talisman Online over some of the newer games. I mean, compare like games like Skyfall to this, there's just absolutely no reason to play this. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people are still playing from the nostalgic effect. Which I think is why Ran Online is still around too. Nostalgia. Powerful force though, that nostalgia. And a lot of people have said this game is pay to win as well. So that's unfortunate. But for an older game, if they have a hardcore player base, they can just milk it as much as they can. I mean, and I make fun of translations a lot, but it's not really a big deal. Because nobody reads the text anyway in these games. So the translations aren't the biggest problem. It's just, it's a choppy gameplay when you walk around. That's... I mean, I have a pretty new computer too. That's disappointing. And it's just this very generic point and click gameplay, which most players are pretty tired of. I mean, if this was like came out in 2005, it'd be okay because you had like 2062. Like, games like Shea and stuff, Hero Online. Back when like this kind of game was like the norm, Talisman Online maybe had a chance. But nowadays, just there are just way more polished games out there. Way more polished games. No reason to play this one. But right, guys, I'm gonna call it for now. If you guys do wanna play uh, Talisman Online, or just learn more about it, do check out the full review on MOS.com on the link below. And you can't forget the A-plus customization. There is no customization. <laughs> anyway, guys, later.